What's going on, you guys? Happy Wednesday. It's your girl, Vanity V. Um, let's talk about brother love, okay? Um, as we all probably could have guessed it, you know, the settling of this civil lawsuit that he had with Cassie two weeks ago, you know, him miraculously settling within 24 hours of her filing it, I know that I, you know, uh, you know, foresaw, and I'm sure all of you did the same, that that wasn't going to be the end of it, okay? That, you know, this was just the beginning of the downfall of Puffy. And as we can see, the residual effects of that lawsuit are now, you know, the rumblings are rumbling. Everything is happening. We knew that that wouldn't be the end of it. You know, not, have, not only have additional lawsuits come down the pike from that Survivors Act that expired last Thursday, Thursday night or Friday, not only has an additional people um, come forward, you know, he has that lawsuit in conjunction with Aaron Hall. Now we're seeing the businesses that Puffy has had for, you know, uh, the longest time, you know, they are now withdrawing from him, which I'm actually happy to see. It's not about the downfall of a black man. Please y'all miss me with that. Okay. It's, a, it's about and we know that these accusations are alleged, but my opinion, my opinion is that he is absolutely guilty. I believe everything that was in Cassie's lawsuit. I think that there is so much more to like pull, you know, the curtains back on with Puffy. Um, I think that he has had his hands in some disgusting, egregious, egregious things um, over decades, you guys. We're not just talking about something that happened in 2023. This is a man that... There's just too many coincidences surrounding him. Um, karma is an understatement, right? Like, you know, again, I never want to see, you know, anyone completely crumble, but I feel like you reap what you sow. And I feel like when there are just decades of you screwing people out of their contracts, not giving people their royalties, you know, putting, you, you know, your children and your mama on you know to get royalties instead of the actual artists we've heard over you know decades of him mace writing all those songs not getting paid him not paying day 26 and danny d Kane, my girls total he did them wrong you know 112 i mean faith evans it just and then allegedly he the way he's handled you know the royalties from biggie his biggie's family not being properly compensated that those are just you know the business aspect of of how he's handled his at, um artists with bad boy that's not even touching on some of these alleged you know other accusations of you know the things that he was doing the abuse with cassie you know there's the rumors of tupac biggie then you know we have the the wale's we have the kid cuddies we have the alleged offing of you know kim porter who is the mother of three of his kids you know and on and on and on and on like you cannot tell me that at least some of this is not true like there's no way that this he has the worst reputation and the worst rumors about him and none of this is true like so with that being said right we are now here at a place and i would say over the last couple of weeks I've been very, very disappointed in certain people who have, I won't say refused to talk about this because they have kind of, sort of, however, there's some people that I really, really rock with. I absolutely, and I, I still love Joe Button. He still has my favorite podcast. Um, I'm disappointed in him because, you know, he gave his reasons and he kind of gave a little bit of commentary on his feelings about this, but... Joe, you dropped the ball. You really, really did. It was really whack. And um, I just find it interesting that you're so scared about to talk about Puff, but then you quick to like talk about T.I. and his son and Meg the Stallion. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then you contradict yourself because, you know, you, you make fun of other people in this, in the media space that you're in. You, you in one breath, you're like, well, nobody wants to hear what they have to say. But then you're in the next breath, you're like, why don't you guys say something? Why do I always have to be the guy? It's like, which one is it? Do you want to be the guy that people go to, you know, or is it like you don't? I, I just, I can't, you know, it's, it's the hypocrisy for me. The Charlemagne's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, I, I listened to, you know, earn your leisure. They was, they was talking about the situation with Puffy. They wouldn't talk about it. It's just, 
And the list goes on and on and on. It's like it's just like artists that he worked with, you know, Mary J, like. And I mean, Mary J doesn't really say much, so I'm not going to go hard on her. You know, we've heard of how Lil' Kim felt when she was in jail. He didn't hold her down. It's just, I don't know. I just, people are not talking. And it's it's frustrating because, besides 50 Cent, okay? 50 got all the smoke for um for Puffy, which I actually enjoy. Um, 50, uh, 50 is an absolute troll, and he's, he gives me all the cackles about the situation. But like, in all seriousness... I really want to know, like, is it time to cancel him? Does he need the R. Kelly treatment? You know what I'm saying? Like, what I'm not going to do is, because Puffy has his hands in too many artists, I'm not going to stop listening to all the artists that he's, you know, pro, you know, executive produced their music and all that. that. I'm just not doing that. But as, as it relates to, like, him being invited to the Met Gala and the Grammys and the, you know, Oscars and then, you know, him and his extravagant parties, like, are people, are we... Are people going to fool with him still? Like, are y'all still scared to speak out even after all of this? You know, he's losing, you know, Cap Capital Preparatory has, has cut ties with him. Revolt, he stepped down from the, his role in Revolt, he stepped down, which is suspicious to me. That doesn't mean he's not still going to profit off of Revolt. That just means that for purposes of not losing advertising and all of his other connections with Revolt, He's distant. They're dis it's probably mutually that they're distancing themselves in the public eye. That doesn't mean that behind the scenes, he's not still running stuff over there. So, I mean, I'm not sure about that one. But then De Leon, um, you know, the liquor line that he is like the face of, they don't want nothing to do with him. You know, Macy's cut ties with him, with Sean John. So we're seeing the residual effects of all of this, which, you know, yeah, like you, you shouldn't be able to do these types of things and then still profit and be, you know, your businesses should not be successful. I'm sorry. I, I just don't, I don't think that they, you should when you're doing things like this. But like, for real, for real, are we going to really cancel Puffy? I don't, all that Diddy stuff, he Puffy, Puff Daddy. Are we canceling Puff? Because this is not okay. Like, and I'm sorry, and it it, it, it hurts me to say this because I have, you know, aspired and admired Puffy for all of my adult life. You know, Puffy been around since I, you know, you know, he, with his first song that he did and produced stuff with Biggie and Craig Mack, I'm, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old. You know what I'm saying? So the, he has been a part of my life pretty much my whole entire life. And it's sad to see this downfall, however... In the grand scheme of things, when you really, you know, peel back the layers, he's actually pretty disgusting, y'all. Like, on in every level imaginable. Like, just the, his treatment of women, his abuse of women, you know, black women specifically, just his dirty dealings in the entertainment industry. And these are just the things that we know about. I'm just waiting for the surviving Diddy to be... It's coming. I'm telling y'all, in the next six to nine months, that Surviving Diddy documentary is coming, and it's going to blow our minds. Um, the rumor is that he has, like, ironclad NDAs, you know, and gag orders on people. Um, because I, I'm going to be honest, um, I was kind of hoping that Mason Cameron, you know, they they're, they have a very entertaining podcast. A lot of their podcast is... is uh, primarily based in sports however i know mace just can't wait he he probably want to say something so bad but you know the rumors are that he has an nda that like he can't say anything so i'm assuming maybe that's why they haven't touched on it because mace has been very very vocal over the years just about how trash puffy is and um i, I don't know if recently he got some of his masters back which and I think with Danny D. Kane, that's why they can't really say what they want to say is because, you know, he was he was giving and it was all strategic. I think it was last year when he was like giving some of his, his artists some of their uh, publishing in return. They had to like sign NDAs. That is allegedly what I have read and heard. So I'm thinking that's because, you know, Aubrey, you know, like double does she she want to get in so bad. She wants to like tell us all of the things. And she still be, she, she, be, she be saying stuff, but, um, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just disappointed, you know, I mean, I don't know these people, but I'm just saying like some of the people in me, in the media spaces that I look up to, 
and really admire and really, really have watched for years are just have been so disappointing as it pertains to this. I'm going to tell you, you know who I'm starting to like? I can't even believe I'm about to say this, y'all. You know how I'm kind of starting to like a little bit? <sighs> don't fry me. Why am I starting to like academics a little bit, y'all? I don't know. <laughs> I've been watching him a little more. Um, and because I would just, just say six months ago, I was like, oh, he's so annoying. Like, I can't even watch, you know, because I love YouTube. I love YouTubers. Um, the really interesting ones and dynamic ones. Armand Wiggins is my favorite. But, um, yeah, I, I, when it comes to academics, I was just like, oh, he's just so like misogynistic. And then he likes fresh and fit, which I hate them. I just, I don't know what's, I could never really get into academics. However, I like that he's been fearless as it pertains to this puffy situation. He's been saying what we all want to hear. And he kind of be making sense with his commentary a little bit. Like he, he can be a little ridiculous too, but as I'm, you know, getting to know him through his commentary, he's actually kind of likable and I'm kind of liking him a little bit, but, um, you, which is surprising because his, his page is absolutely not, um, tailored for women. You know what I mean? Like he's very, I don't want to say he's manosphere but he is, he's not for the women overall. But I feel like he's getting better. So I will say I'm going to give him a little shout out because when it comes to these different topics, I feel like um, he is objective. And I think that when you're in this space, um, you have to, you know, on the level of an academics or, you know, not me because I'm just a little old YouTuber. But when you're on the level of like a Joe Button, a Charlemagne, a Breakfast Club, you know, an academics, um, um, who else? million dollar worth of game all of them people like you have to be objective which is probably tough i'm not saying to completely you know fry up your friends but like for instance joe but is not friends with puffy he's not he his reasoning for keeping quiet is very very much uh i don't want to ruin my chances of working or having a business relationship in the future and that's kind of whack but yeah, I just think it's time to cancel him, it, which really sucks because his album that he just released is really good, y'all. I'm not going to stop listening to it because there are, it's it's a compilation with several artists that I love, you know, Justin Bieber, Jasmine Sullivan, you know, Fabulous is on there, all the people, right? Tyga, everybody. But um, yeah, like he needs to be canceled in all the other aspects. Like it just, it just needs to happen. Um, I don't think that we need to see any more evidence, any more lawsuits, any more alleged he held someone over, you know, the Brooklyn Bridge or whatever. Like, I, I think we've seen enough, you know, like for God's sake, he allegedly had something to do with Kim Porter's death. Like, it just doesn't get any worse than that. It's starting to give like an episode of Snapped or like Forensic Files. Like, I'm, this is what this puffy, you know, debacle is giving. It's starting, it's just too much, so... What do you guys think? You know, um, again, we're going to see more. There's going to be a surviving Diddy. I'm certain it's already in pre-production. Um, we're going to see more fallout. But I'm just curious, what do you guys think? Are you team Diddy? Are you team not Diddy? You know, do you think that it's time for us to really, like, cancel him and get him up out of here? Like, what are y'all's thoughts? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments, you guys. Also, please like, subscribe, share, share, share. Um, I really appreciate it and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.